Alex Mayers here with another podcast of Porn News Today. Now, today's podcast of Porn News Today is actually going to be a follow-up of my most recent podcast of Porn News Today Live, in which I touched on the most recent Stormy Daniels arrest, which occurred in Columbus, Ohio, during one of her live performances that she's been touring and on the road doing since she has filed her very public lawsuit against Donald Trump with the help, of course, of her attorney, Michael Avenatti. Now, from my perspective, this arrest was nothing more than a vehicle to harass Stephanie Clifford, a.k.a. Stormy Daniels. And what really frightens me about this situation is that there's a plethora of adult entertainers out there, porn stars and escorts, who routinely also work within the gentlemen's clubs in America who may opt to become a part of the Me Too movement. And the fact that law enforcement within the United States of America appears to be willing to utilize archaic laws like what enabled Stephanie Clifford, aka Stormy Daniels, to be arrested it is just an atrocity. It really is. And actually, this arrest made me think about an article that I just recently read on TheGuardian.com, and I will do a separate podcast in regards to this particular article, but it's titled, Modern Slavery, How We Exposed Deadly Sex Trafficking in U.S. Prisons. So, sex trafficking and human trafficking, from my perspective, really don't have to do very much with this particular situation involving Stormy Daniels. However, just the fact that right now we are living in a country to where any individual of wealth and or power can utilize the legal system, be it, be it a lawsuit or be it an arrest, to harass any adult entertainer of their choosing is a very dangerous thing and as many of you who have followed me on my Twitter account at Alex Mayers Live over the years know I have to tell all of you right now a career in the porn industry today is not doable it is too dangerous and it can potentially ruin your life or dramatically shorten your life so um, I'm really glad that Stormy Daniels does have the assistance of attorney Michael Avenatti. You know, I noticed on his Twitter that he seemed to be a little bit offended in regards to being labeled a porn star attorney, but I'll be the first to say, being labeled a porn star attorney is not necessarily a bad thing because there are several porn stars and adult entertainers and sex workers, current, retired, and ex, who are tremendous people who over the years, through their business dealings, have come across some very interesting people who they may feel the need to come forward publicly in regards to. So from my perspective, being a porn star attorney is actually being an attorney for potentially a huge populace <laughs> of some potentially incredibly courageous individuals. But anyways, um, one thought I had in regards to Michael Avenatti at this particular stage is I think he needs to narrow his focus a little bit. I think it's wonderful that he appears to have a very big heart. I think it's wonderful that he appears to want to help everybody. But as of current, at least from what I saw in the news, some people are trying to clip his wings and clip the wings of Stephanie Clifford as well by cutting their money. I feel like that arrest that Stephanie Clifford just had to um, deal with and then the consequent court appearance was a means to try to affect her income. After that arrest, the club that she was scheduled to appear at didn't want to have her back for fear of law enforcement coming in again. 
Fortunately, she was able to find another club to where she could do her performance. But um, that particular run-in with the law, unfortunately, also could lead to future repercussions in states such as Nevada, where in order to um, be an exotic dancer, for example, you have to have a sheriff's card. And this particular run-in with the law that Stephanie just went through, even though all the charges are dropped, it could potentially affect her ability to get that sheriff's card in Las Vegas, and that could potentially affect her money. Now, in regards to Michael Avenatti, I read an article just recently in regards to a bankruptcy judge placing a restraining order on any future payments from his current or past clients. I'll have to look at the article again in order to make sure I'm reporting this correctly to you. But um, I feel that both Avenatti and Daniels, aka Clifford, could end up in a bit of financial trouble as they continue on their journey against Donald Trump legally. So um, I think it would be in Avenatti's best interest to just kind of focus, go tunnel vision, strictly in regards to Stephanie Clifford. You know, fortunately, there are quite a few other organizations and groups and extraordinarily powerful individuals who are focused on reuniting all of the immigrant children with their parents. So I personally would like to see Avenatti only focus on the issue at hand when it comes to Stormy Daniels. I feel like if he were to do that, then he would definitely have my endorsement when it comes to his presidential run, if he does indeed choose to do so. Um, oh, and one more thing I wanted to add. I still want to know who it was in that sketch that resulted from Stephanie Clifford's description of someone who threatened her in a parking lot with her daughter because I do feel that whoever that individual was that she described is a key component in the case against Donald Trump and I kind of feel like Avenatti needs to hurry up a little bit with that because I know that he has been saying adamantly over the past few weeks that Michael Cohen is going to flip I don't have faith in him flipping because when I look at Cohen, I see the good old boys club. So whatever kind of ammunition you got, Avenatti, it's time to go ahead and pull it out right now. So that's about it for today's commentary of Porn News Today. Catch y'all later.